What's up, YouTube family? Gerald Greenley here with Clean Green Lawn Service in beautiful South Georgia. That's how it's done, Wild Bill. You have to use that accent and all, man. Uh, Z-Man already forgot something at the shop. He forgot to put the ladder on the truck. <laughs> He's not even awake enough to rebel right now. Y'all have any trouble with that with employees? They get in the truck and they fall asleep before the first job. I stopped a while ago and his head like to hit the dashboard. You know, they're jelly necking. <laughs> anyway, I really did forget the ladder. I did. Um, Z didn't even know we needed it, but uh, yeah. But more, more than that, I forgot my wallet. So I could have made do without the ladder. I was just gonna pull the truck up beside the building and trim a little bit of stuff I needed to trim. Uh, you know, all according to OSHA standards, of course. And uh, anyway, once I pulled up to the pump and realized I didn't have my wallet with me, I thought, well, probably better just go back home and get my wallet. And while I'm there, I pick up the ladder. So El Romo 003, they out cutting somewhere. Not a big day today, really. Not even a big day tomorrow. So pretty easy uh, week this week. Next week will be rougher. Rougher, that's a new word. No, that's not a new word. Rougher? Rougher a word? More rough. I don't know. You know, Z? Uh, still not awake. But anyway. Um, so that's what we got going on. We'll, uh, we got a new property. It's a one-time deal for an elderly lady. Um, her son's sick or something. Pretty nice yard. Uh, I went out and looked at it earlier this week. So we're going to go by and take care of that for her. We're going to cut one of the bigger ones off of tomorrow's schedule because I won't be working tomorrow. Got to go pick my wife up coming back from Seattle. So, and my daughter. So I got to go to Jacksonville tomorrow to the airport. So I won't be out working. We're going to get as much as we can done today. El Romo 003 actually going to go cut part of the college this afternoon, like the outside fields, so they won't have quite as much to do tomorrow, so that's the plan, man. Maybe we'll get you a little bit of footage somewhere today. Check back with you. There's the standard. Z-Man must have had to run off to the latrine, but uh, I got this front cut. You can't hardly see the stripes from this side. The way the sun is, you see them better from the other side, but we still got this side, the back, and, and part of that side. Uh, what we do here is uh, Z-Man comes in and trims and I start cutting and I cut the pool area uh, This front the areas that's a little bit more delicate uh, You gotta be you know shorter runs a lot more turning that kind of stuff now. It's not that he couldn't do it, but I just uh, I prefer to do those and when he gets done trimming There he goes, riding his chariot. So when he gets done trimming and edging, he edges too. Uh, then he gives me the trimmer, I give him the stander, and I go around and uh, back edge with the string trimmer all the beds, all the live edges. Uh, you know, that's just something you gotta be careful with. And uh, these, these bed edges here, I, I wouldn't even show them to you because they're certainly not perfect. They're not, what we started with isn't perfect, but uh, we didn't do the install and we didn't do the straw and all that. But uh, anyway, I do that and then I go through the beds, pull out any weeds, if anything needs to be trimmed. And, uh, and then uh, by that time, uh, all everything's cut around all the concrete surfaces. I can go ahead and blow everything off and uh then then of course you know uh, about that time z-man usually be finishing up so we got a pretty good system here for two people uh you know uh, i did do this the first couple of times by myself and it's still not a problem by myself but uh anyway pretty pretty good sized piece of property though but parts come in for the standard so be looking out for a video on that uh I'll show y'all. I know some people said I left you hanging on what was wrong with it. I never did show you exactly, but I'm going to show you what's wrong, uh, show you the new parts. And uh, I actually, I'm just going to pick them up from the dealer and probably throw them on myself uh, this weekend. 
I mean, it is a warranty issue. Uh, they would do it for me. Um, but, you know, for them to do it, I got to take it up there when I'm not cutting. I got to drop it off. Then I got to go pick it back up and all that. And it, it's almost just as easy for me to grab the parts and slap them on, I think. <laughs> I may regret saying that, but... Uh, <coughs> anyway they've been real good to me and they work with me on stuff and so when i got things little things like that like i had a spring like that seat that needs to be put on i just took all that stuff to the house i do that myself so uh you know and at the same time if i take this echo trimmer in there and it need a little fuel filter or something on it or it don't want to crank and he blows the carburetor out real quick and fires it up he hands it to me and tell me to leave and never even get a ticket on it so you know it's just working together but uh anyway let me get out here and get to work so z-man don't get done and be waiting on me you mentioned something about landscape. He 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 dies on me. My brother uh, trimmed it. Uh, All right, well you trim it the next one. I just trimmed. I did. Supposed trim? to switch. No, you ain't got but two yards today, bro. I know, but we're still supposed to switch. No, we ain't supposed to switch. I just knew that to help. I'm not supposed to. You a trimmer guy? I'm a I'm a good at everything guy. I can do everything. Oh, he can do everything. Surely might not want to. So anyway, we're gonna head over here to this next one, and uh, it's a one-time cut. I'll let y'all see it. I don't know if we'll get any. Uh, it's a nice place. Uh, the lady, she's an elderly lady. Her son has some sort of disability, she said, but he still can cut grass. He cuts hers. He cuts his own, so he lives by himself, I guess. And then he cuts the neighbors across the road. But I think he got COVID or something. And she says she's just not able to do it, so we told her we'd come, come beat it down for her. So that's what we're going to do, put the beat down on it. Z-Man going to trim that thing out and make it look good. He can't wait to show his skills off to this new customer, this new one-time customer. Don't do too good, Z. She wanting us to come back. If I do too good, you might have to trim them every other time. Huh? Said if I do too good, you want to trim it real. Z-Man <laughs> uh, loves that trimmer. We might change his name to trim. We might change his name to Trimmer Man. Just you know. That don't sound good. It don't. No. It's like it sounds like more money though. You could do Trim Z. Z Trim. No. Z. <laughs> trim Z. Trim Z. Kind of like flimsy. Trim Z. There it is, right there, Z. That's already been cut. Uh, well, we better go do another one then. Well, I don't know. It's it could, no, it needs. It, that's probably a weekly there. Uh, here, here we go. That's kind of. That's right there. You go, Josh. Yeah, I'll trim that's that. Your, that's your field right there, Josh. I'll trim that. that Josh right had there. some videos up last night. He cut two yards that looked like that. They do have some nice houses out here though. But see, these these folks don't trim around a ditch bank. Don't look to me like. I, now they did. I don't know, man. If I had a nice house and yard like that, I'd keep that ditch trim. But that's just me. It's definitely some nice yards. They got a lot of centipede out here, but this this lady has a lot of centipede, but the Bahia's then got in it. I guess from it being on the roadways. <sighs> but let's see, Hayden Lane. Look at that right there. I'd have oh, to man. I'd have to trim that down. That'd be a nice yard though. Yeah, nice but they car. need some uh they need some hedge work. Man, we might need to get out here and get some work. Because I need some more and all. Alex Lane, here we go. That's a nice looking yard. Got their uh hedges trimmed up nice. That one is, that one is too. Yeah. So Here's where ours starts. It starts right here at this fence. Mm -hmm. Don't look like they've been trimming around some of this stuff. Man, I didn't even show y'all the new yard. I didn't even take a picture of the new yard. Forgot to. Anyway, me and Z-Man at Arby's. He's hungry. I'm hungry, boss. I gotta stop and eat. 
he ain't saying anything to me about the thing. About the what? He was just asking me what I was doing. Uh, here's your cup. Just chunk it in the back, man. Just throw it. There you go. Look at there. Treat it like a show truck. Um, it'll be clean. The truck would be clean? It'd be, it'd be just like your room, huh? <laughs> huh? Yeah. No, it'd be cleaner than there's your Toyota right there, man. It doesn't say Toyota on the front. It ain't new enough. Oh, it ain't new enough. Yeah. Yeah. Now that's a sport. And y'all didn't know Z-Man's high maintenance. Just saying. I mean, my parents say they'll get me it. I'm gonna get it. Yeah. Well, it ain't really them getting it. Getting me it. I have to pay for it. I'm still trying to figure out how he's gonna pay for it. Me too. <laughs> Him too. Man, we could have went to Chick-fil-A, Z. I know, but they didn't have the french fries. Look at there. Chick-fil-A, boy. It's our mobile unit around here. Um, anyway, yeah, we're done cutting. Z-Man just begging me to go pull weeds. Nope. <laughs> Z-Man told me, I don't know if I want to do that. See what I mean? It don't matter what you want. All right, I'll shoot y'all some footage of this. I have been out here bush hogging a little bit. Came out the other day and cut a little bit. I gotta get some fence up and get them goats down here, man. Got here, and my neighbor here, he cut a bunch back over in there. But uh, still having a little issue with my tractor. I'm not sure what's going on with it, so I gotta get it looked at again, but. Anyway, set y'all up, let you get a little bit of time lapse. See what we doing man y'all see what we doing let me show you what i got down here real quick some of you might be new to the channel and uh look at that jump burn pile burn pile So this is going to be cleaning green industries right here, man. I already got my material figured up. Coming off 10 foot. I'm going to lift that 10 up. Run a uh, ceiling joist down it. And uh, come out 10 foot, 4x4s, four four, three of them. So there'll be a bay. A bay. A bay. In fact, I could put something else in here, especially if I leave a boat under there. And then a bay on this side and that's going to lead us right up to here uh i haven't decided i think I, I might end up pouring some concrete right here uh you know just so i could work on stuff in this bay and have my tools and stuff in here i do have the shed let back down on the ground i know y'all probably watched a video a while back if you didn't you can go find that sketchy stuff that we did uh I did get a guy to come out and go ahead and hook my power up but I got it. There's some wiring problems in here. Uh, that outlet works because I got my boat charging. But I've already got some of my landscape stuff down here. Got to get new lights. Uh, and I got to secure this. It's still off the foundation a little bit right there. I'm going to actually take my tractor and move it over. But yeah, there's the farm track 300 DTC. Got the bucket on the front. That's from brush hogging or bush hogging. Uh, got the bush hog on the back. The issue I'm having with it 
is it'll crank up and run sometimes for 20 minutes and shut off sometimes it'll run for 10 seconds and shut off so i'm gonna i think i'm gonna call the guy that worked on it that's been maintaining it of course i got mosquito bass boat down here about all it does is sit here yep that's lit up so i still got power three green lights on the charger batteries are fully charged that's just a trickle charge that stays on it uh but anyway i brought one of my vehicles down here i got a couple more at the house somebody's using one i got about another one at the house that i don't use they all run i do need to get some work done to that one that was my daughter she bought a new one so all of my kids gave me their vehicles back when they bought new ones the ones that i bought them so anyway i'm gonna get back down here z-man's just hanging out at the truck waiting on me to get done <coughs> really was no trimming or anything to do i just wanted to run down here i had to get it this end so you could see those stripes so uh anyway yeah that's what we got man i just called and uh man i got to clean them things i can see better without them than i can with them oh goodness i just called and checked on the uh f-150 <laughs> they haven't even looked at it he said oh man we're gonna try to get to it monday he said we just had a couple of vehicles that turned out to be more than you know we just had more trouble getting them going than what we thought we would which i understand that you know um it is what it is uh, i mean you know if they're working on somebody's vehicle they got to get it fixed so uh you know and everybody needs their vehicle it ain't like oh i i got a business i got to have mine and i i do need it but you know everybody uh I ain't gonna wait on that tractor everybody if they need it to get to work or you know pull their boat or whatever they need you need it so and everybody's backed up and i understand that it's all part of business you know what i don't understand and, and maybe some of you are different i, I mean I, I mean some guys they say look i work monday through friday if it don't get done it don't get done now I don't operate that way. If I ain't done on Friday, I'm working Saturday. Yeah, you know, so. Now, we don't make a habit out of doing that. And I don't overschedule to where I have to do that. But there are times when, you know, uh, the rain or, you know, the weather or, uh, you know, just, just different circumstances. Sometimes it's just easier to do a property maybe on a Saturday. Nobody's going to be there. It's a business. Um, but, you know, anyway, they ain't working Saturday up there, I'm sure. <laughs> but at the same time, you know, they probably can't find nobody to work on Saturday. Probably having trouble finding somebody to work Monday through Friday, just like everywhere else. So anyway, and at any rate, I won't have it back to next, sometime next week. You know, once they get on it, how long is it going to take them to fix it? I have no idea. That's that, man. I'm going to show y'all up here. If y'all remember where I built the deck at, I got another job to come up here and do. I got to get a quote in on putting a porch up, too. But I already told that guy, I said, hey, you had to wait till the off-season, man. I said, if you okay waiting till October, November? He said, yeah, I ain't no hurry. So it's a pretty big porch. Actually, two of them, one off the front and back. But this in here, you see under the house, uh, he has got some of them boxes on the front porch. It's like that stone looking underpinning. Underpinning. And so we're going to put it all the way around. All the way around the house. I'm going to dig down a couple of inches. It's a vinyl, but it's thick. I'm going to dig down a couple of inches and put it in the dirt and then screw it. It's got a lip on it to go up under the vinyl side and it's already on there. And, uh, put a couple of screws across there and, and the bottom will be held with the dirt so I, I had to dig I'm gonna dig a small trench to set it in kind of backfill it as I put them in get it straight hopefully here I am flying through here and they got all these cameras man I've even got a ticket here it's hard to drive 35 <laughs> uh, anyway um, So, got plenty of projects on the horizon. You ever get through cutting the grass? 
got about six more weeks of that six more weeks of heavy cut the end is in sight man the end is in sight all right i'm gonna go ahead and shut this video off here i rambled on long enough if I get out and work on some projects around the house, I'll fire this bad boy up, make a separate video. I, I definitely want to make one uh, on the X1, uh, not the X1, the Super S. Um, so the guys, I got a message from them. They're done with the schedule. They're headed to the college. Uh, they're going to go up there. There's a big area out front and out back. They're going to go ahead and go cut that. And then they'll go up tomorrow, because there's people at school today, they'll go up tomorrow, take care of the main campus, weed eating, edging, blowing everything off. Right now they're just cutting the, the, the big fields, the big areas. But that'll save them, that'll save them some time tomorrow, because there's gonna be a three-man crew tomorrow. They got that and about six more to do, I think, something like that. Uh, because I'll be gone. So I told them they could go up there today, make it easy on them tomorrow or you know they could uh they could do it all tomorrow it was up to them and so they said they were gonna head up there and try to cut some so anyway that's it man hey appreciate y'all watching if you haven't subscribe to the channel if, I, if, I, if you've never commented on a video and you watched it this far drop me a comment love to hear from you just say hey you know hey h-e-y hey not H-A-Y, H-E-Y, hey, all right? Appreciate you watching. My prayer for you is always the same, that the Lord might richly bless you, that you, that you might see all of your blessings as from Him. Hope you have a great day.